Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 iPhone apps that you must have on your device in July 2022. As usually every beginning of a month, I show you guys 10 apps that I believe are very useful and iPhone users must have them on their device. Now, another thing you must do right now is leave a like on the video as it helps out a lot. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're starting things off with touchpad. Now this is an app that allows to control your MacBook or your Windows PC through your phone. So all you have to do is just install the app and then go ahead and install the helper on your computer. Once you install the app, you will find the link right here. And of course that will let you download the helper on your computer. And of course it will show your devices right here. And there you have it. You can just go ahead and control your device. You have the clicks here, the mouse clicks, of course, that you can do. And you might notice there in the background on my Mac, you can see right there where it does show the menu. So you can pretty much do anything. You can scroll up and down here. And of course you will even have your keyboard. So if for a lot of people is easier, of course, to type on their iPhone. And if you have something to type, you don't want to do it on your computer's keyboard. You can do it with your iPhone from your iPhone straight to your computer. Next up is group text and email. Now this is super useful. If you have tried the beta of iOS 16, you will have now this as a default feature on the phone and contacts app where you can create different groups and of course email them and send them text at once. Now you can do this on all their iOS versions with this app. So we will have group text and group email right here. Choose whichever you wanna do. And of course you can go ahead and just choose a template, add attachments, add a signature, and you can just go ahead and go here and you can go to your groups of contacts that you have, choose the group of contacts that you want to send them to. Of course, you can choose multiple groups here and you can send that text or email directly from here. You will also have group manager where you can go ahead and manage your groups or create new groups from your contacts eye enhancer is the next app for the video it will enhance low quality photos so if you just found a photo on the internet or anywhere you have maybe like all the photos of you that you took with phones that have of course worst cameras and you can just load the picture on this app right here and you can see what it does it will actually do everything automatic all you have to do is just go ahead load the picture and you're good to go and you can see with this slider the before and after here so it will have two different methods which you can use and once you're done with that you can just go ahead and save the result to the camera roll of your device and you will notice a huge improvement on the quality of your picture Clean My Phone is the next app for the video. It allows us to easily clean contacts and pictures as well. What it does, it will find pictures that you have duplicates of or videos that you have duplicates of. You can see right there it shows you the items and it will categorize them. So you will have here similar videos, similar live photos, similar photos, duplicated photos and screenshots. And what's really cool is that it also allows you to select the date range of which pictures you want to scan. So you can see right here, I can just go ahead and choose the date from which date to which date I wanna scan the pictures. And then I can just go ahead and clean the pictures only from those dates. They will have the contacts here as well. So you will have duplicates, incomplete contacts and all that. And you can just go ahead, find them really easily. And of course, go ahead and just remove them from your device. Now right here, we'll also have tips for your battery and you will have here the ability to actually like lock with the passcode, things like your contacts or maybe private photos that you don't want anyone to look at. Player for TikTok is the next app for the video. This is an extension for Safari on iOS 15. It basically adds a player to the TikTok web. So you will have here everything, all the controls. As you can see, you can play in picture in picture. You can go on full screen. And if you tap here and of course, go to player for TikTok, you will have also an option to enable auto scroll. So once one of the videos finished, it will go automatically to the next one. You can see right here, everything works. Of course, you can go in picture in picture, you can go on full screen and you can pretty much do anything with TikTok on Safari. Doozer is the next app for the video. So a lot of people prefer to listen to music when they want to sleep. You just turn your player on and of course you're playing music. With this app, you can actually set the music to be turned off. So you can see, you can choose here the minutes, 
So let's say 20 minutes and once the music starts playing, no matter from which app you're playing it, this will keep turning down the volume of your device. So for 20 minutes, it will go from at any level you choose, let's say at 100%, it will go to zero during those 20 minutes. So of course, as you go to sleep, it will also turn down the volume of your device. Now, if you tap right here, you can go ahead and choose external music or you can choose the music from Apple Music. The next app for the video is called Weibo Meter. This one is really interesting. It's an extension for Safari, but you will have to work on the app as well. So once you install it, make sure you go to Safari and you go to manage extensions and have it enabled on your device. Now from here, you can see this is what we have. This is the app that basically will limit the access to any website at any time you want. So just enable it right there and you can see you can add here like a domain that you want to limit. So let's just paste the link that I just copied there. So you can add the link and you can set here the maximum visits for that website that's for a day and also minutes away. So you can see right here you can set how many minutes. So let's just enter two there. You can set the visits here like let's say five and just like that you will have basically this option to block the website of course based on time and visits during the day check info is the next app for the video it allows us to find information for ip addresses and domains as well but your device as well so right here we'll have ip address so you can enter an ip address and you can find different information regarding the location all that of that ip address or you can do the same here for domain so you just paste the link here tap on search and it will show you all the different details regarding that domain so you can see everything is here and if you have the dns as well and you have the device right here so basically this will show you everything you need to know all the different informations regarding your own device dot equals is the next app for the video it allows you to very easily convert anything you want on your device things like angle area energy force frequency mass power pressure volume anything you want temperature speed anything you can think of you can quickly convert with this app so you just choose the units here from which to which you want to convert right here and of course enter the values you want to enter here and you're good to go just like that you can go ahead and convert anything you want if you tap here you can go ahead and choose basically search for any unit you want and find it very easily cash walk is the next app for the video now this is a really interesting app that will track your steps that you do during the day and of course give you like these coins that you can get from this app based on how much you walk during the day now when collecting these coins then you will be able to actually use these coins to get like rewards so if you go right here and the gift cards and the rewards you will see like different gift cards that you can get simply by walking you will have trends right here where it shows you everything that you have done weekly monthly and daily of course all the steps that you took during each day that you need to know of and it also offers a pretty cool widget for the home screen of your device so you can see right Right here you have the widget you can tap right here to go back into the app you can of course invite more friends here and earn more coins and of course get more gifts so that is it for this video guys thank you guys for watching the video if you like any of the apps you can download them by simply checking the links right down below in the description of the video again thank you for watching the video don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one